This is a KRCR News Channel 7 special report. Good morning, I'm Colin McAvoy. Continuing coverage of the fires burning in Northern California for this morning. Here is the latest from Shasta County where Cal Fire officials tell us the motion fire has jumped fire lines last night causing mandatory evacuations for Rock Creek Road, Benson Drive, and Granite Drive. There are also voluntary evacuations for the Keswick area. Now, the fire is burning to the south and also to the west at this point. Cal Fire officials also tell us there was a lot of spot fires that sparked up overnight, so they're still working on getting those under control this morning. Now, the Moon and Mary fires, meanwhile, are also causing evacuations in Shasta County, where high winds and high temps have pushed the fire past fire lines today forcing evacuations in Igo, Ono, and areas to the north. Meanwhile, evacuations are still in place this morning for Butte County, where 10,000 people in Paradise, Concow, and other areas have been evacuated. Now, basically everything from along Pence Road, from where it meets the Skyway in the north, south to Miocene Circle, to Clark Road between the west, or to the west, that is, between Wagstaff and Billy Roads. Also, Highway 70 at the Greenville Y, all the way south to Lake Orville, and then all roads east, including Big Bend Road. Now, this, the town of Concow, including the Yankee Hill area, still under immediate threat evacuation orders this morning, as well as the communities of Jarbo Gap and Big Bend, also under immediate threat orders. Now, our first alert weather team has been tracking all the conditions out on the fire lines today. Let's bring in Cheetah Johnson now. Cheetah, what else can you tell us as far as these fires are going? Well, we still are under that red flag warning, and of course, the excessive heat warning as well, issued by the National Weather Service. Now, we've seen very similar light -like conditions the past few days. The only positive thing here, what we're noticing is temperature are just a few degrees cooler and that is a positive thing that will continue over the next few days as well. Let's go ahead and get to our first alert storm tracker seven here. Uh, current conditions showing 95 degrees currently at the Reading Airport. Notice smoky skies. We're still dealing with poor air quality out there and of course winds are playing a problem here. Uh, what's going to continue today? The flow out of the north northwest. It was starting this morning. That's going to continue later this afternoon. Gusts up to 25 miles per hour throughout the day today, but I don't see any more than that. Relative humidity, oh, that's a problem. Notice how dry we are, 19%. As we continue to warm up, we're going to continue to see uh, that relative humidity drop. You can see that heat warning there shaded in the orange, and that's what we're currently looking at uh, when we're talking about triple-digit heat and record-breaking heat over the next few days as well. The upper-level winds are really a good indicator of what we're going to see on the surface, and you can see this afternoon around 4 p.m., those arrows continuing to point from the northwest to the southeast. So that's where I'm expecting most of the winds to continue to blow throughout the day today. So you can kind of pick out your area and notice where those winds are blowing. Uh, we are going to keep a very close eye, of course, on all of these conditions here and continue to update you with the latest. So stay tuned to KRCR News Channel 7. Colin. Cheetah, once again, thank you very much for that updated information. Uh, as Cheetah mentioned, stay tuned for the latest information here on KRCR News Channel 7 throughout the day today. We'll also have full reports tonight on KRCR News Channel 7 starting at 5. Let's return you to your regularly scheduled programming.